Hey guys, Patrick with Patch Tech Review, and today we're going to be talking about this, the Samsung Galaxy Watch 3. I'm going to give you some information so you can make an informed decision on if you're going to buy this smartwatch and use it as a daily watch. If you want some more information, stick with me. Let's go. All right, you guys, this is the Samsung Galaxy Watch 3, and it was released in August of 2020, so this watch has been out for a little while now. So I want to go ahead and give you guys a review on what I thought about the watch. First thing that you notice is that this display is pretty large for a smartwatch. I have the 45 millimeter version and also comes inside of a 41 millimeter version of the watch, which is a little smaller. And also a design feature that you will notice is this bezel on the top actually spins around. So there's actually a functioning bezel. It's actually different than your active Galaxy Active watches where the bezel, you know, you can kind of move your finger around the bezel and it'll move, but this one actually has an actual moving bezel. Another thing about this watch is this one comes with a leather strap, which is pretty neat. It looks like a classic watch, depending on whatever watch face you have on it. It does look really classic, really classy. Again, it is pretty large. It has two buttons on the side of the watch, which makes it again, look like a classic watch. And each button does serve its own purpose. If you touch the bottom button, if you touch it two times, it will take you to your apps. And if you touch the top button uh, once, it'll actually take you to your home screen. And the buttons do actually serve other purposes, like you can take pictures from your watch. Uh, if you have the camera app that is actually on this particular watch, you can use it to take pictures from your phone uh, if you have a Galaxy device. Now, the watch that I have did come in at 350 smackaroos, so $350 for this particular watch. And this is the case, the box that it came inside of. And in the box, all you got was the watch. Uh, you got a charging dongle, which is a T charging dongle, which is which this watch uses, and some instructions and stuff. So that's what pretty much came inside of the box. That's all you get. You do not get a charging brick, almost like phones nowadays, but smartwatches have not been coming out with charging bricks for a long time now. So you just have to use a charging brick that you already have laying around the house. Now the watch does come in three different colors. Uh, there's Mystic Bronze, Mystic Black, and also a Mystic White, but I have the Mystic Black version here of this particular watch, and this is not the LTE version of the watch. You can go to your uh, local T-Mobile or Verizon and get this watch on the LTE, uh, so you don't have to, I guess, connect the phone to your watch or your watch to your phone and have it connected via Bluetooth. You can actually just use the watch as is, as actually you can use it as a cell phone as well. So the most noticeable thing about the watch is the screen size. It comes in at 1.4 inches for the 45 millimeter version and it's 360 by 360 pixels and has 364 pixels per square inch. So there's a lot of pixels that are packed into this little watch. The screen is protected by Corning Gorilla Glass DX, uh, which is a pretty strong glass for the front of the watch. So if you did drop it, it should be protected. Now this watch is pretty quick and pretty snappy. It has the Tizen OS 5.5 and an Exynos 9110 chipset. There is a Ducore 1.5 gigahertz Cortez processor on the inside of the watch. I believe it's the Cortez A53 processor on the inside of the watch. And for the GPU, there is a Mali T720 on the inside. Uh, it produces good graphics. Again, it is snappy. If you guys can see that when I roll through, I mean, it's pretty quick, pretty snappy. It looks good. Now there is no expandable storage on this watch. You do get eight gigabytes of storage on the inside of the watch. So you can download certain things like songs from Spotify or Pandora or whatever you use. And there is one gigabyte of RAM, which is plenty enough for, for a watch because you're not gonna be doing too much uh, on a watch. Uh, which is, but again, it is snappy. It is one of the most snappiest smart watches I have used. So guys, if you're enjoying the content, please make sure you hit the like button down below. I'm trying to fight this YouTube algorithm. So I need you to hit the like so I can get in front of more people so more people can see me. Also, if you haven't subbed, sub up. Sub to the channel. I do a lot of tech content, game content. I do it all. I do it so I can help you guys to make an informed decision on if you should buy products you know, or if you should go ahead and, and spend your money on stuff. At least I try to add value to you. Now for the battery of this watch, it does have a lithium ion 340 milliamp hour battery on the inside. 
it does charge wirelessly like i said before and it uses the chi wireless system uh, so you just snap it put it on top of the wireless charger while it's plugged in and it does charge uh, it does charge pretty quickly uh, not as fast as other smartwatches that i've seen as far as charging but the battery life if you have it set correctly can last you a couple of days I've, i'm actually on day three and for this particular watch i'm at 64 percent battery i didn't charge it for two days but i i normally have to screen off and i'm not looking at it very constantly so you know it lasts me for i want to say three days at the most now some interesting features about this particular watch it does have a speaker and a microphone on the inside. So if you're on a phone call and it's connected to your phone, or if you have the LTE version of the watch, it kind of looks like a Star Trek moment whenever you're like talking into your watch. Uh, it can also do text messages by you speaking to it. Uh, it, it dictates whatever you say and it'll send it inside of a message, which is pretty cool. If you're listening to Spotify, you can actually have it turned up and it does get pretty loud for a watch. Um, it really surprised and shocked me when I was using this thing with Spotify. I just wanted to test it out and try it. And when I did, I mean, it, 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 it pumped out some sound. I'm actually going to see if I can play. Well, never mind. I'm not going to play anything for you guys because I don't want to be copyright stricken, but it sounds good. Just it, it, I mean, it sounds good for a watch. I'll put it that way. If you are in need of a speaker from a watch and having to talk to your watch like you're inside of a Star Trek film, this thing would do it for you. One thing that I don't like about this watch is Bixby. Bixby has to be the worst voice assistant that you can get for any type of watch, for any type of product whatsoever. Bixby is horrible. I don't know why they keep putting this thing on, on their products, but come on, I, I don't know. They should just get the point. Get rid of Bixby. It's horrible. Don't use it on your watch or your phone. I wish you could just delete the app altogether. But yeah, that's the one thing that I don't like about the watch is Bixby. One cool feature that has just come out for this particular watch, there is a heart rate monitor now that you can activate on this watch, um, which I haven't used. I can't get it to work for whatever reason. So that's kind of sticky and iffy. You know, that's that's one thing that whenever you buy a product, you just want things to work. But with this particular watch, it came out and they promised a lot of stuff and some stuff is finally coming to fruition, but I just haven't been able to get it to work. There is an oxygen sensor on the watch that can, that can tell you your blood oxygen level, uh, also a heart rate monitor, stress monitor. Uh, it can track your steps. It can link to your Samsung health app uh, so you can keep track of all of your healthy activities that you do during the day. If you swim, if you walk, if you bike, um, you can do all those particular things with this watch, which I think is pretty cool uh, that you can track your health. You can store music on your watch if you want to. You can do searches. Uh, I mean, it is pretty neat. It also tells your activity. The one thing that I, shocked me about this watch, I do work in a school. So I was sitting down for a long period of time and the watch was telling me to get up and walk around. I, you know, I, I felt like the watch was trying to call me fat. Didn't like it, but I did it anyway because the watch told me to, but that's one feature that the watch does have as well. So there are a lot of different things that you can do with the watch. You can look at your photo albums from the watch. You can listen to music from the watch. You can set your music from the watch. There's a gallery. You can find your phone just from the watch. Uh, you can find your watch from your phone because it does make a sound. You can set reminders. I mean, it's pretty cool uh, that the things that you can do with this particular watch. Um, you, you know, answering phone calls, you just swipe over. You can hang up the phone call. You can send a message to the person to let you know that you're busy. I mean, so there are lots of little neat features that are built into the watch. As I mentioned before, um, and there are still some features that they're working out. The watch face is highly customizable. So you can customize the watch face any way you want it to look. Um, I have it set to this funky looking thing where you can see your battery and your heart rate and all the other good stuff. Uh, so that's really customizable. And again, I do love the bezel. That bezel, I mean, it does look pretty large whenever I'm wearing it or whenever I have it on. I mean, but I like large watches. That's just me. Uh, some people want something a little smaller, so go with the 41 millimeter version. But even for some people, that particular watch is still pretty big for the wrist. Um, but again, I just like big, big watches. I like uh, big phones. I like, uh, I like big things. Now for the final verdict, would I recommend the Samsung Watch 3 to somebody who is looking for a smartwatch? I kind of said the same thing inside of my headphone video when I reviewed the Galaxy Buds Pro. If you have a Samsung device, I would say yes, get this. If you have an Apple device, no, stick with the Apple ecosystem with the Apple Watch uh, 6 or whatever, whatever one they're on right now. 
because the features that you can use with the Samsung watch and the Samsung device, you get the most out of it whenever you are in the same ecosystem. Uh, same thing with the Apple watch. Some of the Apple features I can't use with the Samsung phone. My watch has, I mean, my wife has an Apple phone and an Apple watch. And so whenever I pair the Apple watch to my phone, there's certain things I can't do and vice versa. So I would suggest you stick within your ecosystem. Is it worth it? Is it a worth it watch? I do like it. Is it worth the 350 price tag? I mean, there, there's some other good watches that are coming out this year. I mean, OnePlus has a watch that's coming out that's like 150 bucks and it looks like the Samsung Active and it does a lot of stuff. It looks real premium. Hopefully I can get my hands on one of those and review it. I mean, but I would recommend if you, if you just want to be in the Samsung ecosystem and you just want something that looks classy, yes. So I do recommend it if you're in the Samsung ecosystem. Good watch. I love it. It's a good purchase for me. So yeah, I would buy it. So guys, that's it for today. Please make sure you hit that like and subscribe button down below if you do enjoy this content and other tech content. Again, this is Patrick with Patch Tech Review. Peace.